Welcome back to Google Guru. One of the great things about Google Drive is the ability to store an unlimited amount of Google Docs. Now, there are plenty of ways to organize your drive with folders, but when you have as many docs as I do, it can be a little difficult to find a specific document. In order to solve issues like this, I'm going to show you some great advanced drive search operators. First of all, if you can't remember the title of a document, but you can remember specific keywords or, or words that were mentioned frequently, you can use quotes to search by a key phrase. So for example, I can remember a document where I specifically mentioned spotlight video. So I'll use quotes and then search. And this will bring up a document called Guru Meeting Notes. And if I open it up, I'll see that this was a document that I was thinking of because there's the search term right there, spotlight video. I can also narrow down my documents based on sharing policies. For example, I can use the operator from to see every document that Albert Einstein has shared with me. So I'll enter that in and click search. If you look here, you'll see all of the documents with the owner of Albert Einstein that were shared with me. I can also see every document that I've shared myself to Albert Einstein by using the to operator. So I'll just switch those out and click search. And you'll see a series of documents with me as the owner. If you look here, you can see that some of them were modified by Albert Einstein indicating that he has also been given permission to view or edit these documents. Another way to sort through your documents is by eliminating some of the useless noise. You'll notice here that I have a lot of documents with directory in the title. These are a bunch of exported files of my context that aren't really relevant right now. So by using the operator dash, I can eliminate the word directory from my search. So I'll just enter that in and click search. And if you look through these documents, you can see that they're all recent documents, but none of them have directory in the title. Finally, I can search by a specific date range. Using the operator after, I can see every document that was edited after January 25th, 2013. So I'll just enter that in, click search. And as I scroll through these, you'll notice that they stop right around the 28th because that was the last time that I made documents after the 25th. On the flip side, I can search for documents before a certain date. So I'll enter in this new operator and click search. So since today is January 30th, this will show me all the documents that were created and edited before today. So it starts at the 29th and works its way on down. A great thing about these operators is that when you combine them, you can target your searches even more. So I'm going to combine these last two operators to search for a specific date range. By using the operator after 2013, 125, and before 2013 130 I can search within this range of dates for my specific document that I'm looking for. So these operators are a great way to save some time in Google Drive. Instead of scrolling through dozens of docs, you can search for one based on whatever limited information you may have. Also, if you look below this video on the Google Guru website, I've shared a file with these search operators as well as some others that I didn't get the chance to go over in the video. You can print this out and keep it handy in case you can't remember all of them off the top of your head.